Hello everyone, welcome to AI Tutorials. If you are new to this video series, please subscribe and don't forget to tap the bell icon. Then only you will get notified for each video upload. In previous video, we have discussed about how to handle the Excel sheets and scenarios like how to handle the single worksheet, then how to create multiple data frames from multiple worksheet, then how to combine the multiple worksheet into a single data frame. In this video, we will discuss a very important topic, how to handle multiple Excel files and a multiple worksheet into a single data frame. If you didn't watch previous video, just watch it once so that this video will be very easy to understand. For this example, I am using again COVID data set, three files, March data, then April 4 then in the May workbook we have two sheets one is for May another one is for July now we have to create a single excel sheet contains all the data so first tips you have to be very clear on what is the sequence your single data frame should contain based on that you just sequence all the excel files that's why I mentioned the numbers. So let's start coding it. First, we have to import pandas as pd. Then we have one more model called globe model. That is import globe. And this model is used to find all the path name matching a specified pattern according to the rules used. Nothing but when we mention this path and uh, the pattern is .xls file even the same code will work for csv file or json file if you mention that particular extension automatically it will read all the files available inside this folder once you are done with this we have to mention the path so path equal to mention the path of the folder to avoid DRS, just always mention R before that. Now this is the path of folder. After this, we have to display the list of Excel files available inside that folder. For that, now we will create the pattern. It's a file names equal to globe dot globe inside this path concordinating with plus symbol then within the double quotes to make it as a folder slash star dot excel yes x so this is the pattern we are creating it means it will read all the excel file let's print and see inside this folder we have three excel file india march April and May. Within this May, we have two sheets. Now we can able to read all Excel files. The next step is we have to initialize the empty data frame. I think video number three, I have already explained how to create empty data frame. Here we are implementing that code. Let me give the variable name as final Excel sheet equal to pd dot data frame. It's an empty data frame. The next step is we have to iterate excel file one by one inside that folder. Iterate means you have to use the for loop. So for file in file names. Inside this only all the file is available. First let's divide into two part. We will try to read this excel file. Inside this excel file if we have multiple sheet we have to make that as a single sheet this may example here you have a two sheet we have to make this as a single sheet that's the first one we have to do it after that we will try to club every excel file one by one i think we already covered this concept here same thing i am going to give it here just listen to the previous video for better clarity so data frame equal to pd dot we are going to use the concord then pd dot 
read underscore excel here what is that file name first file name comma sheet underscore name equal to none it means it will read all the file those two parameters for the pd dot read excel file then for congot i don't want any issues in the indexing what i will do ignore underscore index equal to true and i should not sort it so sort equal to false what this code will do is it will try to create the data frame for each file let me run and show you so it reading march then april see here we know two sheets available in the may but it clipped both may and june that is five and six it means it is working properly now we have to club every excel file so we have to append it excel file one by one so we have already created a variable final excel sheet equal to final excel sheet dot append initially it will be empty first time when it run it will take the march value second time it will take the march plus april third time march april may june like that it will keep on append for every iteration so appending the data frame then ignore index equal to true so we are done with the coding now let's print and see it should come out of the for loop that is very important this is the for loop so when you run it this is the final file starts from 0 to 84 rows it starts from march till june it means it clipped everything into a single data frame 85 rows 5 column this one we use it a lot in future what you have to do is you have to change this path according to your project then if it is an xls no need to worry if it is a csv or some other file then you have to change that and change here also that is the thing you have to do it we have created multiple excel sheet into a single data frame let's save it for that dot to excel give the path so the path is covid final dot xls and i index i am making it as a false so execution completed see here it created the excel file so it created a single sheet starting from march april then may june all these three files and multiple excel files and multiple excel sheets converted to a single excel sheet or single data frame hope you got a very clear picture how to do this this is a very very important code we definitely use this a lot i have already uploaded this code to my github just download and use it according to your project if you are satisfied with this course content just like this video that's the end of this video thanks for watching happy learning